Yeah, it's good that we're actually um, like properly training for something, and we know that you know that date is there, on the twenty second of August, that we've we've got a game to work towards now, which is is definitely giving us some purpose of coming in. Um, the whole thing during lockdown, the thing that I think I struggled with and a lot of boys struggled with was you're trying to stay fit, but you didn't actually know if there was going to be any rugby this year, um, and you're doing it for a. Uh, yeah, well, we need to stay fit in case there is, um, which was great for, I found that, that great to do for sort of five or six weeks. And then I hit a bit of a lull where, um, you know, I was just like, we're not, I think it was when England started coming out of lockdown and we didn't. And um, it was just getting a bit tough. But um, yeah, then, we, you know, you get through that and everyone was sort of, it's funny, I was, I was chatting to people and, and everyone I spoke to seemed to be in the same boat. Everyone had that sort of lull halfway through lockdown where they were um, just getting a bit sick and tired of, of the, the routine. But yeah, it's, um, everyone's buzzing, obviously, to get back playing. And now we've actually got games on the horizon. Our training's now much more relevant to playing rugby. It's definitely uh, it's definitely a good good feeling around the club. Yeah, I think it looks really exciting. Uh, it's something that we've, uh, we often get the chance to play um, teams from around the globe around the autumn time. So it's, uh, it's good to welcome Japan and, and Fiji. And... Um, yeah, I know that it's it's just it's just something different and, and different is often quite exciting. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be busy. It's going to be a lot of games in a short space of time. But, um, yeah, it's going to be, I'm sure it'll be good, good to get involved with that. I've always really enjoyed playing in the Awesome Tests and the chance to play, you know, teams like New Zealand, Australia, ones you normally never get the chance to play unless you tour there um, and you get lucky enough to tour there. And obviously, the, you don't tour the same places every year. So... I've always really enjoyed the on tests, but at the same time, if there was a competitive side of a, of a tournament, that's also really exciting. Um, so, yeah, I think if there was, um, if this does carry forward, I think it, it looks it looks like a really positive setup. But at the same time, like my old, my only experience of the autumn is is playing these incredible teams from around the world and and one off games, and that's also really exciting. So I know it's exciting for the fans as well. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, Obviously, the first block of four weeks or something when we were still on furlough um, was very much just in for weights and running. Um, so that was that was quite it was good good for me to just get back in some sort of social interaction. Um, but there was obviously no rugby, no passing or anything like that. So it was just literally just a way of getting getting fit again and getting used to some training. Uh, but the last couple of weeks have, have been good. This week especially has been good. Just getting a rugby ball back in our hands. We've been able to do bits and bobs of, of line-out work. We've not done any um, sort of live scrums or anything yet, but we imagine that to, to come back quite quickly. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's we're just, we're just trying to get through all our stuff in a, a much more compact schedule than we normally have. Uh, it does feel like a, a pre-season again, although uh, it's funny because we're still sort of in the middle of the season and we're going into um, a couple of games and then hopefully uh, playoffs. So, it's yeah, it's quite odd. You sort of feel like you're preparing for a new season, but you know we've still got this season to to finish as well. But, um, but yeah, no training. We're we're getting we're getting there, and I reimagine over the next couple of weeks as we get closer to the Glasgow games, it'll become uh, back to sort of fairly normal training. Yeah, I think I think physically we'll be okay. We've done uh, we've had a good amount of um, strength and conditioning and and stuff like that in the first four weeks. In these last four weeks, yeah, we're, we're having to get through it all a lot quicker than we normally would. But you know, every team is the same, so um, we'll probably will be a wee bit rusty in a few few areas that we'd like to have spent a bit more time on. But you know, it's no different to any other team, so um, we're not too concerned if we're a bit behind on some things. We know that we've just got to give and take on, on certain areas.